All right, guys, welcome back. Today, we are going to get into, we're going to do a little review, a little side-by-side -side of HK Young. This is Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey Toasted Barrel Blend. This is batch two. Let's get into it. All right, so here's the deal. I don't even know if you guys have heard of HK Young before. What they are is they're an they are not an independent bottler. They are a non-distilling producer. And what they are doing is they're taking whiskey and they are doing a toasted barrel finishing. Okay. So let's get into that. That's that that's gonna be really fun. So they were gracious enough. Uh, they just came on the podcast. Uh, so make sure you go check that out. I'm actually going to tag this video to the end of that. So if you've already seen the podcast, you'll know what I'm talking about. So they sent over a sample. I don't know if you can see it. It's a fairly good sample of their batch two. Uh, this one was 113 proof. Um, uh, and Cole, who is the H in HK is his last name, right? Uh, <laughs> he came on the podcast and we talked about their brand and their whiskey and stuff like that. And as we were going through this one, let me, I'm going to pour it in the Baker Drinks Glen. Um, as we were going through it, I, I mentioned a note and he was like, oh, why did you get that? And I'm like, I, I don't know. It's, it's a, it's a little hot. It's a little fiery, you know? Um, why? He's like, why did you get that? He goes, well, when we poured this sample for you, we pulled it right out of the, the marrying vat, right? It hadn't been bottled yet. So they had just dumped it in the Marion vat. Now, could it have married in the bottle while the podcast was, you know, it's it's been maybe a, a month since the pod since we did the podcast. Could it have mellowed in the bottle? Let's check. It was it was a good whiskey. Don't get me wrong. It was a good whiskey, but there was it was a little disjointed at the end. So what he did, he was gracious enough to send me over a full bottle of batch two. Thank you so much, Cole. Um, and I cannot wait to get into this. Let's go. I'm going to pour off a little bit. We still got stuff to do today, so we're not going to do a big pour. And the bottle design is really pretty. Um, it says Kentucky Strip. I already said all that. Um, batch 2. This one is 114.4 proof. So 57.2. Age 6 years in oak. And then finished in a toasted. Now, they are very transparent. They are sourcing from Bardstown, which we love Bardstown, right? So no problems there. So let's get into the whiskey. Um, you guys go check out the podcast if you want to learn more about the actual brand, right? Let's get into the whiskey. This We're going to call the, the one in the Baker Drinks Glen, we're going to call that 1.9, right? And this is batch two. Um, is there a color difference? No, uh, maybe. Well, there's a little bit more in this one. I did I didn't pour correctly, but I don't think there's a color difference. Okay. Vanilla, cherry, like medicinal cherry. Oak, a lot of oak. Six years plus I think don't quote me on this, go back and listen, but I think they aged it for another four months, three or four months in uh toasted. And they're working, they're using like different toast profiles and then they blend them together. So they're doing blending and all, all sorts, types of other stuff. All right, let's get into it. Okay. Cream, vanilla, toasted marshmallow, maybe? A lot of barrel influence. Barrel candy, though. It's a little sweet. It's really nice. It, it lingers. You start to get that Kentucky hug right away. All right. Get some water. Always got to hydrate. Water. Okay. Now let's move on to the other one. Now this is batch two. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to reference batch 1.9. It smells different. It really does. It really smells different. This one, you get a lot more ethanol. And like medicinal cherry. 
the batch two is more creme brulee. Maybe even some pipe tobacco. Okay, let's get into batch two. They are wildly different. Whoa, wildly different. Holy moly. Who would have thought marrying a whiskey would make it taste so different? Um, he did give me a sample of batch one, and it's excellent. Don't get me wrong. This one. Wow. I am impressed. Okay, I'm going to go. Man, more water. Sorry. I'm going to go back to batch 1.9. Man, I hate to say it like this, because uh, this is no disrespect to uh, H.K. Young at all. Uh, they they pulled it off the marrying vat, so it, it wasn't fully matured or fully married together, you know. And I think people misunderstand when you do blending, you have to let it sit. You can't just blend two things together and start drinking it. Like it's it gets all disjointed, it gets out of place. And I thought being in the in the bottle. For as long as it has, that it would have uh, softened some of that stuff out, but it hasn't. Yeah, man, the rye is coming through. Uh, watch it not be rye. The spiciness is coming through a lot on batch 1.9. Wow. Yeah, it prickles the back of your throat. Again, it's, it's a great whiskey. Don't get me wrong. It's great. But it just has these little pops of, I want, I'm going to call it pops of inconsistency in it. Like, it, it, it it's almost like a, a Richter scale. It's doing like, now let's go back to batch two. That just means I have to drink one and then the other. I want to thank Cole so much for coming on the podcast and hanging out with me. It was a blast. When you get to drink good whiskey with good people, it's pretty awesome. Oh, man. Yeah, night and day difference. Night and day difference. Creamy. Creme brulee. Pipe tobacco. But like the flavored, almost like the cherry pipe tobacco. I love that. Like, I don't like pipes or anything like that. Oh, man, it's so cohesive. It's so together. It's just, if you're looking for a great toasted barrel finished whiskey, look no further than H.K. Young. This, it, like I said, this is the second iteration that they did um what do they call it henria Pencia. anyway doesn't matter excellent excellent stuff go pick it up if you can find it they do have pretty good distribution uh you might be able to get it off their website sealbach i think has it as well so with it uh, let's score it. Why not? Let's score it. So I'm not going to score 1.9. I'm not because uh, it would it wouldn't get the the highest marks. It's great. Don't get me wrong. It's great. But oh well. I got I I got lots of notes, man. What am I doing? Okay. Where can I find? I'll score it right next to this one. How about that? All right. So we do it on nose, taste finish and would I buy again right that's what we do okay so let's nose it we're gonna do this fast man it's a great bourbon I mean Bardstown makes amazing products and then when you finish it it's just gonna um, okay I'm going to give that an eight yeah it's 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 excellent So creamy, so creamy, but then you get that oakiness 
but it's really cohesive. It's really nice. It's not overpowering. That there's something about that toasted. It's like a marshmallow type. I'm going to give that a nine. The, the, the flavors on it are, are really good. For think about what you're what you're drinking though. You have to uh, to base it accordingly. Um, I'm finished. I gotta have another little sip because I was talking instead of finishing. Hmm. Yeah, I did the chew. Okay. Finish goes on. Man, it leaves you like with a praline. Mm. No banana, no fruit, really. If it's a fruit, it's a red, delicious apple, right? Like a, one of those big old apples. Um, I am going to give that 8.5. Yeah. Out of 10. This is out of 10, right? All right. Would I buy again? Okay. Well, as you well know, I did not purchase this bottle. So would I buy this bottle? Had I not known, would I have bought this bottle? No, because there's so many whiskeys on the shelf, right? And that's why it is my job as the podcasty dude to give you brands you might not have heard of and say, these guys are making some cool stuff. You need to go find them. Will I pick up batch three when it comes out? Absolutely. So I am going to give that an eight. Yeah, I'm going to give it an eight um, because it's really, really nice. It's a down to earth. I could give this to anyone, anyone, and they're going to say it's a great bourbon. Great bourbon. All right. I'm going to tally the votes real fast because I, I can't add. Man, I had to get a calculator. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> um, okay, so I scored this 33.5. Yeah. Uh, out of out of uh, 40, I guess. So that's a really good score. I would say if you can find this, go get it. Go look them up, please. I will have all their description down below, uh, the story, everything. I don't know if you read any of the stuff that I put in the description or you just like clicking. You know, because I put a lot of work into that description and uh, I need you to listen to it. So if you like what I'm doing, if you like anything that I'm I'm throwing at you, please follow, like, subscribe, do all the algorithmy things. And I'd like to thank my sponsors. Yeah, I have sponsors. Uh, Z Smith Whiskey and Mixology and Bad Motivator Barrels. They will be linked down below. And also, if you want to support monetarily, you're doing enough. But if you want to support monetary and get before the episode exclusives, uh, exclusive episodes, go to patreon.com slash the whiskey shaman and sign up today. You can get in for as little as one buck a month. What are you doing? You got more than that in your couch cushions, right? Okay. So until next time, y'all be good, be safe, drink water, and keep your spirits up.